All right, guys, this one will be very interesting. Welcome to MTG Bros. We got the unsanctioned set here. Let's take a look at what's inside. These are very interesting. Usually, you know, it's it's just random booster packs and you can kind of draft it and have some fun with it. This time they decided to just make it a special boxed set. So let's take a look what's inside. Get ready for the fight. Welcome to the best unauthorized fight club in the multiverse. Bash speaks with five 30 card decks made up of classic silver bordered sets and 16 new cards. Hmm. I was expecting the whole thing to be new, but okay. The rules are unhinged. The stadium is unstable and things about are about to become unglued. So basically all their old sets there. 10 ridiculously gorgeous four lands, five in premium foil. Ooh, very nice. 10 very cool tokens, five 30 card decks with 16 new cards combined two when you play, and you get two six sided dice. All right, for two players, 30 minutes playing time. Made in USA. Okay, let's crack it open. Let's see what this thing's got. Very cool. I like the, the wrapping. It's like the uh, booster boxes. At least it looks more official, fancier. Good stuff. packaging whoa these are uh, never seen these before just regular six-sided die okay here's the fancy lands let's take a look at all these packs here well they're not packs pre sorted decks this box Cool, okay, so it looks like uh, very interesting. Oh, this one's got some black marks on there. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's part of the card. Let's save these. Let's take a look at the book. I'll be telling you how to play. What is the fabulous, fantastical, astoundingly awesome decks? Let's take a closer look. Use these deck lists to help you separate the decks after each match so you can try different color combinations. All right, lots of good info there. Good read. I probably would read this. Buck, welcome newcomer. I'll show you how things work around here. Trust me, you don't want to ruffle too many feathers. So basically you pick two of the 30 card decks, shuffle them together in a two colored super deck. Your opponent does the same. Set the unused deck aside and you play. Alrighty, very cool. Gonna have to try this out. Let's take a look at the red one. Blast from the past. Oh, that's the original old school border right there. This is from the original set. Douglas Schuler. Man, wizards are really into uh, doing the reprint of the old stuff, trying to integrate the old and the new. That's pretty interesting. Cool blast from the past. But you know the card stock, it looks the same. It's a much thinner, not as matty. Okay, it looks like this is the red deck. Ah, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yet another Ether Vortex. These cards are always pretty cool. You can spend a lot of time looking at it, a lot of details. Goblin Tutor. Really funny stuff. Yeah, this is a reprint. They're not using the original border though. I got some lands. You need some lands. Rob Alexander. Cool. Got some OG artists in here. Let's take a look at the white one. See what's in here. 
But yeah, these, these sets are usually pretty fun. I think that they're very collectible. And you don't really buy it for the money, but sometimes the older sets, like the original one, they had some pretty iconic cards, you know, like a Chaos Orb, Black Lotus. Like these, these are funny. All the artwork names, a lot of work goes into this. Definitely appreciate it. It'd be funny if you can uh, put these with the regular deck, play them with your friends, like the real cards. That'd be pretty awesome. All right, we're on to the black one. Jack in the box, cool. Booster Tutor. Open the sealed booster pack, reveal the cards, and put one in their hand. Awesome. You saved that Urza Saga pack all these years for this? Look at that. Super cool. All right, got all the swaps. Let's just put the. Uh, yeah, I'll put them in their thing back in the box where they came from. That way I'll open this thing up like 20 years later. They'll be unopened, but in the original places they were at. Alexander Chamilton. Oh, that's a cool one. Planeswalker, B-O-B. Johnny, the combo player. I remember this one. This is so iconic. This is totally me. I make a deck and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do this and this and this and I can do that and that. But, and here we go, Richard Garfield. That's the OG card right there, OG guy. Cheaty face. Oh, upside down? Oh, I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, I wonder if they did that on purpose. Because the artwork is up. Ah, that's a good one, Wizards. Funny, funny. John Avon, nice. Nice little islands there. It's cool. Okay, green. My favorite color. Got the static. Can't get the packaging off my glove. There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh, cool. Old school. Old fogey. Surgeon Commander. Timmy the Power Gamer. Whoa, four cards in one. That's cool. And... Okay, who's the artist? Mark Poole. Awesome. Good mix of artists going on here. All right, this is what everybody just wants to get. Jeez. The beautiful lands. Oh, look at this. Ooh, these look super classy. Super high end. I wish the card stock was a little better though. It's kind of thin. But that's really nice. I say these are definitely oh wow. Oh you only get five. They look really nice though. My gosh. Look at that. Let me get these out again. I was expecting, you know, full art foil lands, but I love how they just did this border. That is really nice. Fancy. I think they could take it one step further. And if they did the foiling of the mana symbol, that would be pretty sick. Uh, nice. So I guess everyone probably just buys these lands. Everything else just, you know. That's really beautiful though. I probably use these for my deck. Look at the color, the saturation. That's super nice. All right, guys, that's it. That's uh, unsanctioned. That was a lot of fun. Take a look at those cards. If you got extra cash, go buy a set. It's worth it. Have some fun. Play with your friends, you know?
do your thing. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.